The LFS-1 is our newly approved flame safeguard. This flame safeguard is a flame switch, which is designed to be used with a PLC. Flame safeguards have many names. To make a point, I'm going to oversimplify and group all of these names together. These names imply a standalone device detecting flame, energizing the shutoff valves, monitoring interlocks, and conducting purge. A flame switch is simply a contact. The contact closes when flame is present and opens when flame is not present. This opening and closing of the contact lets the PLC know the presence of the flame. That's it. The sequencing, powering the shutoff valves, monitoring and conducting purge is all done in the PLC. The heart of the flame switch is the FR1 contact circled in red closing between terminals 11 and 12. The contact is normally open and closes upon the presence of the flame. The LFS-1 takes on the liability of proving the presence of the flame so the PLC doesn't have to. HR1 contact just below the red circle is an auxiliary contact used for other Siemens products. For a PLC application, we instruct to keep power on terminal 6, which results in HR1 being closed all the time. NFP86 has criteria for the PLC to be the combustion safety. Combustion safety here meaning the sequencing, powering shutoff valves, and conducting purge. There are two avenues for the PLCs to be the combustion safety. One is listed for combustion service, and two is not listed for combustion service. The listed PLC is straightforward in being designed for combustion safety. The non-listed PLC to be used as combustion safety must meet criteria of section 8.4.2 in NFP 86. Third-party certified, SIL2, and restricted access are a few of the requirements for a non-listed PLC. If the PLC is the combustion safety, all you need is the LFS1 flame switch. Panel space is premium. The LFS1 flame switch is a compact device being three and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. The small footprint saves on space, especially for multi-burner applications. There is a mounting base that goes with the LFS1, which makes it two and a half inches deep. The LFS1 is able to report the flame signal strength via a zero to 10 volt DC output. This can be helpful to display flame signal strength for the service technician or the operator. The LFS1 can condition the relationship between the microamp flame signal to the zero to 10 volt DC signal. The flame rod current is commonly gradient as shown in the top diagram. The UV scanner is usually discrete being either a healthy signal or off as shown in the, in the bottom diagram. The LFS-1 has global approvals, most recently North American approvals of UL, FM, and CSA. The LFS-1 is also SIL-3 capable. Thanks for spending time learning about the LFS-1. If interested, contact your Siemens Combustion Controls representatives. We are willing to provide a sample if you'd like to conduct some testing. Thank you and have a safe day.